Hey there, welcome to the quick Typenator overview. Typenator is an essential graphics template and it comes with three presets, left, center, and right. And basically these are how the text is gonna type on whether it's left, right, or center justified. So let's go ahead and drag all these in. So here are all three of the presets as they start in their default state. And basically what's gonna happen is if you're on the left one, you can either edit it from the essential graphics template or you can edit from the effect controls like you do with every other effect. So if we're in Typeinator left and we start adding text, you'll notice that it's adding it from the left justified position. Same with the right, if we edit that here. Now I'm just adding random characters so you can see how the text comes in. Is adding it from the right justified position. And same for center. If we add characters, it's center justifying the text no matter what we type. So you can edit type in with either one of these panels. And in the sample we're about to do, all the controls work the same for each one of these templates. So to get things going, I'm gonna drag in our center cut preset. I'm gonna set the playhead to about right here, push out, and I like to make it loop so we can see what we're generating. If you don't see the loop options, go ahead and press the little plus symbol there, find our loop icon, let's drag it down. And it's already selected, so now we get our text looping. So let's jump into the settings and quickly change this text and start getting some new looks from it. So I'm gonna select it, we'll go up to the effects and go up to source text, and we'll just do something like center cut text. And maybe I'll change it to something like Gotham Ultra. Let's make it a little larger. And let's change the text color to something like a blue, why not? So right off the bat, we kind of got our animation happening here and our text in there real quick, real easy. So now that we got that going on, let's scroll down our effectors here. Maybe I'll increase the tracking just a little bit because of this fat font. And one of the first options we can do is we can increase the delay, which is going to increase the time in between the words coming in. So maybe I'll drag the play out a little bit there. And so we're increasing the delay, or if we set it to zero, it'll do the whole line coming up. And with a little tweaking, we can start doing, you know, we can go into the negatives and having uh, the text come in the other way. So for now, let's set this back to three. We'll have a little bit of delay of each word. And let's start playing with the effectors and seeing how we can change this. So the first ones we have here are our position effectors. So I'll set it at the front and maybe we'll Maybe we want this to come in from the top and not from the bottom. So we got that going. Blur amount is a blur transition that comes in. We'll increase it a lot so we can kind of get an idea what that looks like. And maybe I don't want blur. Tracking amount will be how much the letters start with a lot of tracking and then transition in. So we got that option. Maybe we want to fade in. So we can leave that at zero and have it fade in from nothing. Set the tracking back down there. And then maybe, you know, we want a little bit of letter rotation. So we can also, we can tweak that as well. And at the same time, we can also go back and set the delay down and maybe we want the whole thing to come in. Let's set the delay back to three there. And I want to turn the fade back up move this opacity down and I just want to show you kind of all the other features so let's bring this all the way up but maybe we don't want to see this start all the way from the top I'll stop the play here where the animation ends and let's look at these matte options so I'll turn the matte opacity up and I'm going to bring this up maybe right here is how much space we want the transition to be turn the opacity down to the matte and instead of all the way now we have the words transitioning in from where we set the matte and having that matte gives us a lot of flexibility. So we can turn this back on and maybe instead of it coming in from the center, let's have all these words come off screen from maybe the left. Cool, and so maybe we don't want it animating that much or we don't want it going all the way off screen. Maybe it's just right here on the side. So again, real easy, we can just take the matte, move it over, drop the matte down, and let's sort of see where that's coming in. 
Yeah, or we can get it even closer. And maybe we just wanna come in from the side right here. So let me go ahead and turn the matte opacity back down. And I can actually also play with the position again, just outside that matte. And then now we have our transition in. So another thing I wanna show you really quick is right here we have a 4K sequence. And I'm gonna just drop in the left justified preset for now. We're not gonna change the settings because Typeinator defaults at 1920 by 1080. And instead, let's keep this. And so Typeinator is kind of out here on the side. Easy way to fix this, just right click, scale to frame size. And now we have our Typeinator text inside animating ready to go. And the scale's back at 100, so we're not losing any quality. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this quick overview of Typeinator. The link to Typeinator is in the description below, and feel free to email me if you have any future requests of what you'd like to see in future versions of Typeinator. Thanks again, guys. See you later.